A special court set up to try cases under Pakistan's Official Secrets Act is all set to indict former Prime Minister Imran Khan and ex-Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi today in a saga that has popularly come to be called as the Cypher case. But what is the Cypher case and why is it important? A cipher is a diplomatic cable, a mode of communication between diplomatic missions and their governments used by the state to ensure the secrecy of their communication with the diplomatic missions abroad. This particular case relates to an alleged diplomatic correspondence between Washington and Islamabad, which Pakistan's Imran Khan says was proof that his ouster in a parliamentary vote of no confidence in April 2022 was part of a US conspiracy to remove him. Washington has repeatedly denied Khan's accusations. Khan says the US got involved in the plot to oust him after his visit to Moscow and less than a month before his ouster, he waved a letter to a crowd during a public rally, claiming it was a cipher from a foreign nation calling for the end of his government. Khan later revealed that country to be the US and said the secret diplomatic letter spoke of dire consequences if he continued to get closer to Russia. Khan had travelled to Moscow on the eve of Russia's invasion of Ukraine in February 2022 and says that the US and Pakistan's own army at the behest of the US were opposed to him for pursuing an independent foreign policy and thus banded together to overthrow his government. Both have denied the charges. According to the police complaint against them, Khan and Qureshi, who was Khan's foreign minister during his tenure, both are accused of leaking state secrets to unauthorized individuals and distorting facts with ulterior motives and for personal gains. These actions, the authorities say, have jeopardized the Pakistani state's security interests. If convicted, they could face up to 14 years in prison and even death sentence. Khan is already convicted and serving a three-year jail sentence in a separate corruption case for not declaring assets earned from the sale of state gifts when he was prime minister. The conviction has effectively put him out of the race in the next general elections due in January. Now, the expected indictment in the Cypher case would further complicate Khan's plans to make a political comeback and lead his Pakistan Tehreek-e-Insaf party.